An overdue road repair project in Lemon Grove is finally complete, but people are giving it a failing grade. Comes down to the this sign painted on the road. Four letters that seem pretty hard to get wrong. <laughs> News 8 Steve Price has the reaction from neighbors scratching their heads over the snafu. Lincoln Street here in Lemon Grove finally got repaved. Neighbors have been waiting a long time for this, but it's what happened next that have them saying, Stapo? I thought they had templates. Jesse Padilla spotted it Monday morning. The word stop misspelled in really big letters. It just boggles the mind, right? Within minutes of the crew leaving, neighbors were stunned. Went to the mailbox and I looked at the stop sign and you know, I looked down on the ground and I said, that's a four letter word spelled wrong. <laughs> Making the mistake even harder to understand, there's a stop sign with the word stop spelled correctly just a few feet away. They got a stop sign right there. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I don't know. A viewer notified News 8 of the mistake, which made for some laughs on our morning show. This is at the intersection of Washington and Lincoln. Take a look at Uh-oh. Oh, no. They misspelled stop. Uh -oh. Somebody had one job, Eric. Stepo. <laughs> Stepo at the sign. Our always optimistic Jenny Milkowski saw the mistake's glass half full side. Maybe they did that because people will stop when they see that to read it even more clear. No, the city of Lemon Grove admits this was human error by a private subcontractor telling us in a statement the sign legend that was misspelled was part of the work that was completed by the striping contractor yesterday. City staff was informed of the spelling error late last night and reached out to the striping contractor early this morning to fix the error. The error has been fixed. Mistakes happen. Somebody must have been in a hurry. John is glad the mistake was quickly fixed and the city took their ribbing in stride, ending their statement with, Lemon Grove is pleased we were able to bring a smile and levity to everyone's day. That said, they are surely taking steps to stop this from happening again. Steve Price, News 8.